What's up Ladder Climbers? This is Antoine Wade. In this video today, we're going to talk about how to wisely choose an MIS profession. I just finished my workout, but welcome back to the Black Kites channel where we talk about all things related to the skill development in the IT sector. Now, before we get to the video, guys, do me a stone cold favor and stump that like button as it helps us grow the channel. I'm going to jump into this video right away, guys. As you guys know, Management Information System is a pretty broad major. It allows you to do many different things and it gives you a lot of options. And a lot of times options aren't good for people, but I love options because I can then decide where I want to go or if I don't like something, I can make a switch. That's the thing about Management Information Systems. It gives you a lot of options. And how to wisely choose a career I would say start based on where you see yourself in the lifestyle you want to have. And it starts with the amount of money that you see yourself making. What sort of lifestyle do you dream yourself having? Do you want to see yourself making $100,000 a year, $50,000 a year? Start there first. And what you're going to do is you're going to be able to narrow down the careers that allows you to make that sort of a salary. It starts to weed out a whole bunch of stuff, right? Because in management information systems, you can be a software engineer, a software developer, a web app developer, um, a business analyst, a system analyst, a network architect. You can do you can go down all sorts of paths, but all of these careers do not pay the exact same. So. The process of elimination you can start with salary it's no different than you know using an excel filter in an excel sheet and filtering based on a certain number so if you want to make sixty thousand dollars a year filter out all of the careers that doesn't allow you to make fifty thousand dollars a year or sixty thousand dollars a year when you get out of school and start to narrow your search like that and that's how i was able to narrow my searches first of all i looked at the salary first what i wanted to make what i saw myself making later on in life and then i made my ultimate decision based on that the second piece what i would also say is try to take some sort of strength assessment and there's many of them that exist out out there such as the ipip neo and if you take the strength assessment test it's going to give you a good understanding of what you're good at, what your strengths are. Try to align your strengths to the careers that or where these strengths are complemented at. So, for instance, if you are a person who is detailed oriented, try to align into a career where you need to be detail oriented. If you are a person that is a leader, try to align yourself to be uh, uh, in a career that allows you to leverage your leadership skills. If you are a person who is an introvert and you like to sit behind, you know, the doors and not really talk to people very much, try to align yourself to a career, uh, that, uh, leverages that sort of strength or that personality type. So those are the two big ones that I would say you want to start to filter it by to make a wise decision on the type of career that you want to go into. Again, guys, uh, look at the overall salary of what they're going to be paying for that sort of career. And second, do a personality test to understand what your strengths are and try to align with a job that complements that strength or where those strengths will be needed or those strengths can be leveraged so that you can shine in that position. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Do me a favor. If you have a comment on any of these points that I have made, leave me a comment in the comment section. Also, if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, do me a favor, hit the subscribe button and that notification bell to be alerted when I drop that new content. And until next time, peace.